Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, good. I'm real, real glad to see you all here. And um, my name is Christian Teal. And as Ben mentioned, I'm with Google. I work uh, I'm head of our diversity markets group. And we've been working with the council for a couple of years, really leading uh, to, to events like this, where we're really helping you as, as MBEs and council members help get your business online. And today we're going to talk about how you can get your business listed on Google or your business's identity with Google, which is through Google+. Plus. Uh, it's one of the many tools that through the series the council is going to present to you on how your business can have a strong presence online. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. And in about a couple minutes, I'm going to pass it over to Leah Fairman. She's going to be your facilitator for this event. Uh, but first, I have a pop quiz. Can anyone guess why I'm wearing this headband? This Google headband. Any guesses? Don't swear. Katrina. Google makes you sweat. Google makes you sweat. Well, <laughs> that's not why I'm wearing it. But that is accurate. Today, we're going to make you sweat. This is a boot camp. You're going to get trained. It, right. You are going to get uh, your business online, you're going to get on Google+, Plus. you're going to do some things that are really going to help out your business today. So that was not the right answer, but it was still a good answer. The real reason I'm wearing this headband right now is because I wanted to make sure that I was the first person in the room today to look completely ridiculous. <laughs> Have I achieved that? I think, I think so. Okay. Well, here's why. Because... There is nothing ridiculous, and there are no ridiculous or bad questions today. And we have designed this entire boot camp to make sure that from step A to step Z, you are successful. And you walk out of here uh, getting on Google+, getting your businesses listing on Google+, uh, and learning how to use a couple other tools that Lee is going to walk you through. So I, I want to make sure that everyone feels completely comfortable to ask myself, uh, the four Googlers um, who are going to be your kind of gurus through this, um, through this, as well as Leah, who is going to really take you through in a step-by-step -step fashion. Feel free to ask us any questions that you have. If you're stuck with your access, if you're stuck in your browser, or have any other, we're going to get you. We're going to get you through it. Okay. So we're all going to get through this boot camp together. All right. So why are we here? Um, well, Google is committed to being in the state of Michigan because we have a big presence here and we're, we're, we're dedicated to this council as a great partner of ours. And we're trying to work with businesses like yours on how do you do business online, which is huge business for, for Michigan. Google puts out an economic development uh, study every year and as part of that we measure our economic impact. And in 2012, that economic impact was $80 billion, with 1.3 billion of that accounted for here in Michigan, with 40,000 customers, nonprofits, and partners who, who use our tools. So what we really want to talk about is, how are you going to capture for your business some of the, the economic power of the web to drive new customers, get more folks to visit you if you're a brick and mortar location, uh, or call you uh, or, or get in touch with you about the services that you have to offer. We like to talk about, has anyone ever heard this phrase, the first moment of truth? Anyone? This is a term that was coined in the 80s by Procter & Gamble, the, uh, the, the major consumer package good group. And they coined this term, first moment of truth, after research that they did that showed them that major purchasing decisions in the supermarket where their products are, were being made within seven seconds of seeing something like this, a big aisle in the supermarket, right? And they, what they became was the experts on researching how all of the things involved in packaging, color, height on the shelf, size of packaging, would lead to the consumer making a purchase. At Google, and in the internet space, we like to talk about the zero moment of truth. That zero moment of truth happens before someone enters that supermarket, or before they pick up the phone to call your business about a service you offer, or walk in to see your business if you have a local uh, storefront. That zero moment of truth happens every day 
with the billions and billions of queries that are going into the internet on all kinds of topics, imaginable and unimaginable. So in Google alone every day, there are a few billion queries, people typing in everything they want from as generic as they're looking for flowers, as specific as a part number on, on a rotor blade. Okay? And all of those billions of queries are funneled through Google search and other search platforms to really give you the relevant results that you want. And indeed, most of us are now going to the internet first to start that researching process. So the question to ask yourselves today is, when someone searches for what I have to sell, for what service I have to offer, when they search indeed for maybe the name of my business, what's coming up when someone does that? At that zero moment of truth for your business, how are you, how are you able to So one business that's competed extremely well is called Corporate Snobs. And they're represented here today by Leah, uh, who's actually going to lead you through this facilitation training. She is an MBE, and uh, Lewis Green, president of this council, introduced me to her about two years ago. And Lewis said, hey, I found an MBE who's just doing amazing things online. I was looking for corporate gifts in Google, and I found her business. And over the last couple of years, I've learned a lot more about how she runs her business and uses the internet to let people know about her business, let, her, let them know about what she's selling, and really generate new customers. And she's done a great job also on social media, including on Google Plus, of being found. So I think without further ado, I'm going to ask Leah to come up and tell us about her story. Not working? Oh. Followed by um, a short break, um, we're going to get get connect, we're going to get connected as well, and that's going to be a lot of fun. I think you guys are going to enjoy learning how to get connected with other people, and then we're going to engage with our customers, learn how to engage with our customers. Went over. There. All right, so. This is a hands-on learning experience, so which is a lot better than watching slides and watching me screw up these slides because this is so uh, sensitive. Um, so you're going to learn how to do this hands-on. So when you go home, you're not going to have to ask your children. You know how to do it yourself. You can teach them. Actually, yeah. right here. All right, let's get into the basics. Section one. Okay, we will find out what Google Plus is. We will learn why Google Plus is good for our business. We will learn how to create a Google Plus profile page. And then we will create our business page. OK, so I guess you're wondering what Google Plus is, huh? OK, um, Chris explained a little the difference between Google and Google Plus. 
But basically, Google Plus, um, the business page, is an identity for your business, as well as a public identity. Um, it's a new online um, portal for your um, website and your business. And it is, a lot of people don't know this, but Google Plus is actually the second largest social media outlet. Did anyone know that? Passing Twitter in 2012. And this is an example of what your Google Plus page will look like. Um, there are two streams that will show your postings and your content. And we'll go more into this later. All right, so why is Google Plus important for your business? There are four main benefits here, and each of these benefits I'll go in depth. So, better discovery. Now, this is kind of going to answer your question, in a way. When you are connected to someone, and they search for something that they are looking for, and you provide that service or that product, it is likely that your business <coughs> website, uh, your business plus page, I'm sorry, will appear. The website may too, it just depends. But um, it is likely that your plus page will appear. Now, I don't have my, um, my little laser, it's not working, but I'll just try to talk this through. For example, this is, Chris, this is Chris's um, login, actually. And if, when he puts in Hispanic Chamber, what appears is the Michigan Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. That is the first um, return on the result. If you notice that little icon up there, that little person, that means that he is connected to the chamber. And that's why the chamber is appearing as the first result. Um, it, it, you also notice where it shows that um, Christian Till has plus one this. So it makes it more personal and more relevant to your business when you are connected with other people who are looking for your product or service. Also notice on the right side, the Michigan Hispanic Chamber of Commerce Google Plus page appears. Now, that's a ton of real estate for free, free of charge, that will happen with your business page when you are connected with someone. So does, it, does that answer your question? So then this is what I call the icing on the cake. If you will notice the last arrow there, Chris did a post where he mentioned the Michigan Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. This is in his post, where his post appears in the search. So when a customer mentions your company, your company's post will, can appear when they are searching for a product or a service that you offer. That's, that's how it goes into deep engagement. We'll get into that a little later, too. You look confused. You're good? Okay. Oh yeah, for sure. Deeper engagement, meaning you can have face-to-face -face contact with your customers um, through Hangout. Now Hangout is something that we're gonna do a little bit later. It's a very fun activity. Um, this is a way for you to engage deeper with your customers and we'll talk more on that. Marketing performance across the web. Again, um, once you, you'll notice that University of Michigan is actually the search term. And what appears is the University of Michigan Plus page. Again, more real estate for your um, Google Plus page to appear. This is how you get noticed more and more on the web. And if you have a local page, at the top that's um, a business um, Google page, and at the bottom that's a local page, and it shows actually your location on the maps. Google Plus is also um, a measurable impact. Google Plus has over 500 million users. And the, having a measurable, in, measurable impact means that you do not have to be a market analyst to determine how well your posts are doing. Because people are sharing and they're commenting and they're plus wanting, your post, you can see right offhand in real time how well your um, marketing is doing. You can see the impact in real time. 
All right, so now we know why Google Plus is important for your business. So check, check, check that box off. All right, now I'm going to explain the difference between a profile and a business page. You need a profile page in order to have a business page. Um, so you can look at it like this, you know, whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So whatever happens in your personal life, keep it on your personal page. Whatever happens in your business life, keep that on your business page, unless you want to interchange the two. So what we're going to do first is create a personal profile, and then we're going to create our business. All right, meet Drake. This is Drake the Droid. He's your personal trainer. And he's getting ready to work you, work you out right now. So every time you guys see Drake, I want you to focus in on your computer because we're getting ready to do a task. And this is a star reward task. So that means whoever is done, I want to see those thumbs up when you're finished so you can receive your uh, star. So in your browser, go to plus google.com so that's where you type in your URL at the top when you're searching for something I'm sorry and then sign in using the gmail account you use um, you created before coming Okay, we're good, everyone. Moving on. All right, time for another workout. Drake is back. Move to another machine. Now we are going to create a Google Plus business page. Everyone should be at your, wherever you left off, at your your personal profile and on the left navigation where it says home hover over the home and you will see the drop down menu on the left navigation go down to pages and click on that these are the different icons that you see to create a business page but is there anyone here who has a local page meaning uh, oh, I'm sorry, we'll get to that in the next slide. But there are only two options you would choose here. You would choose the local business or you would choose the company or institution page. And I'll explain why in a minute. So your local page, if you have a physical business location like a brick and mortar, or you want to be found on Google search, or you want your place of location to appear on Google Maps, and that's how it would look when someone types in your business page, your business name, it would show where you're located. Does anyone fall in that category here? One, two, three. Um, you would be a local business page if you have a brick and mortar or you want your business location to be found on Google. Okay, so those of you who have local business pages, one of the Googlers is going to help you go through the setup process. Yes, ma'am. I have another question. My other question is, what if you service across the United States, I don't necessarily want just to just recognize me as a local business? Well, you can put your headquarters there because in, in Google, only one location is going to come up. So whatever location you want to come up, put it there. And then on your Google Plus page, and we'll we'll get to that later. You can put all the locations you're at. Okay. Yeah. So so raise your hand if you have a local page. One of the Googlers is going to help you set up. Everyone else will have a company, institution, or organization page. Yep. Click on that. So. You can win a reward here, so thumbs up when you're done. Choose a name for your business. And keep in mind, whatever name you choose, 
um, be careful with how you want to be recognized because when people are searching for your company name, it's very sensitive as far as spaces. What's that? Yes. Category, also you can two stars. So you choose the category that you would want to be found in. And you can list your website if you have a website. If you don't have a website, that's something that you can come and edit later. Everything is editable. And you get a start. I can start. Thumbs up, everyone, if you're there. This, okay, great. Okay, so next you're going to add a story. And it's two words to describe your business. So this could be like a tagline or... You know, if you guys have a slogan or something, um, this, again, this is editable. You don't have to add anything right now. You can always come back and add it later. And thumbs up when you're done. All right. I owe you this. you're going to fill in the introduction to describe your business. Now right here is where you want to, you know, pat yourself on the back, put your locations on there, put extra videos if you have it, um, links to your other social media networks, your Twitter and all of that. You can add any information you want. Again, you don't have to add it today. You can always come back and add it later. Two stars first. And this is um, actually the introduction for Corporate Snob. So you can see how much content I have there. There are bullets there that you can make. You can see that um, I have a lot of links to our other social media outlets like Facebook and Twitter. Okay, so this is how you would showcase um, photos in your um, profile. This is just an example of a company, Polyver um, Sports. And if you go to their photos, it's basically like a nut, it's a catalog. If, if you have products that you want to share or some of your work, you're a graphic designer, you might want to share some of your work. Um, this is the way you can do it and what people will see when they click on photos, when they come to your page. All right guys, check, check on your sheet. Now you, you created a Google business page. All right, we're getting through this. All right. Everyone got it checked? Let's move on. Okay, any questions? Anyone? Great, that means everyone did a great job.